and uh, dill. You wing me already with the dish because it's so colorful, it's so well plating. It pops. Yeah, good job, uh, good job. Dig in, please. Puree is what? It's a glazed carrot puree. Everything is well balanced. Wow. I would say it's a, almost a perfect dish. Thank you. Wow. Really good. Yeah, great balance. Wow. Thank you. Chef, where are we going uh, on marking? I give a five. Chef, I completely agree. Five. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Like, that's his number one for sure. A pleasure. God, that means so much. Perfect score. Like, wow. Next up, Megan, please. Let's go. I'm a little nervous because both chefs are loving Trent's dish, but I'm confident in my dish, and I think mine's just as good. Um, so for you, I have a pan-seared duck breast. It's a sweet potato and ginger puree, and then a little pomegranate salad with a citrus vinaigrette. Good job on the visual for the duck. It looks beautiful. Thank you, chef. I like when people show the, the skin like that. It's elegant. Cooked beautifully. Thank you, chef. Uh, yeah. Really beautifully. Love the idea of the pomegranate. Do you have the confidence to just put that on the plate? Yes, yeah, chef. Um, it's almost uh, also a perfect dish. Perfect dish. I agree. For me, it's a five. Thank you, chef. Hands down. Thank without you, a doubt. Chef. Chef? Five, two. Five, two. Thank you so good much, chef. Five out of five is ten. Very good dish. Well done. Uh, what a perfect timing to have you guys cooking with that level of finesse. Uh, wonderful surprise, right? I'm pretty impressed about your skill. Yeah. As uh, young as you are, bravo. Good job. Excellent. So the online votes have been tabulated. The public have spoken. Let's find out how you scored. Let's start off with Bryn. Chef and I gave you a total of eight. Social media gave you a score of three points. You finished third. The public has spoken. Not that I completely approve of the public's decision, but hmm, I guess we're all critics now, now that we all have phones. Next up, Steve. We tasted your dish and gave you six out of 10. Social media scored your dish in fifth place. That earns you one point. Oh, OK. Total score of seven. You know, it's fair. I'm not necessarily upset. I'm just going to take the criticism and apply it to the future. Next up is Kaya. Chef Lou and I gave you a total of seven out of 10. Social media scored your dish in fourth place. Two points. That gives you a total of nine. Not getting dead last is nice, but getting second to last isn't any better. So now we have two of you, Trenton and Megan. Chef and I gave you both perfect scores. Social media are going to decide the winner because uh, Chef and I can't. I get the sense that Trenton doesn't think I'm a strong cook. So, you know, I'm just ready to kick his ass, honestly. The chef who got the most first place votes from my social media followers, congratulations goes to Trenton. Thank you so much. Bravo. First black jacket yesterday and uh, get number one today, so that is amazing. Young man, you finished with a perfect score of 15. Megan, 14. Yes, so sir. close. Trenton, how are you feeling? I feel amazing, chef. And so you should. Megan, a close second. Yes, chef. Extraordinary, right? Yes, chef. Runner up is never good enough. Thank you, chef. Good luck. Bye, guys. So, you know, coming back with a vengeance for sure. Well, Trenton, today you're headed to Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Not this Hell's Kitchen, of course. The one down the street at Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. All right. Oh, schnazzy. Trenton, you will receive a very special VIP private tour from Hell's Kitchen and Head Chef and season 17's winner, Michelle Tribble. Wow. After that VIP tour at Hell's Kitchen, you'll head over to Rayo's. Famed owner and restaurateur, Frankie Pellegrino, knows meatballs better than anyone in the country, and he's sharing the family secret with you personally. It's amazing. Excited? Absolutely, Chef. And so you should be. This guided tour of Hell's Kitchen and Rayo's Meatballs Masterclass 